I'm with Michelle Pitcher, the organiser of the Arthur C Challenge. How many years have you been doing it? Uh, I think this is my sixth year. Six years? Yeah, it's yeah. It's such a great event. It's a great community event and, yeah, awesome atmosphere. It is, yeah. it's amazing. It's, yeah. It makes me want to run. Look out. It's just such a good event. Yeah. What do you love about it? I actually really like the variety of people that participate. We get such good local community support as well. Young, old, fit, not fit. And then we get some really, really strong athletes as well. We know a lot about the event and yes. pretty excited. Great Clearly knows you're fit. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're, we need to start pre-season first. So. Yes, okay. So you haven't started pre-season yet? We're about to kick away. I think we've got about a week or two to yes. go. Nice way to start it. Yeah, start it is. Yeah. It is. Right, Six right up there. up a hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So you guys are locals, is that right? Yeah, we, we are. We grew up in Mornington. So how did you get involved in football? Um, we uh, we grew up playing netball and then Jess and I used to just muck around in the paddock next door and we'd go for kick and obviously spend hours competing against each other and then all of a sudden a year or two ago we um, entered the NAB talent search and then after that we went into the women's league and played locally at Seaford and then we got drafted halfway through the year and now we both ended up at Carlton. So. How exciting is that being picked up? Oh, it's incredible. I think both of us just just to be picked up for playing the AFL side was incredible, but then to be drafted to the same team was Together. just, you know, you can't even express it. Can you tell us about the course? Yeah, so all of, um, this is a local initiative called Fit to Drive and it was developed here on the peninsula. Um, it's developed by principals of local secondary schools in the early 2000s after a spate of road accidents basically. They saw that there was a gap in road safety education for young people, developed this program, it's a best practice program and it's now delivered to every um, secondary school here in the Mornington Peninsula and Frankston area. What we do is we raise money, we give it back to the school so they don't have to pay for the workshop. Yeah. Great it's great. It's got a good message, but it's all about you know getting in, having fun, and community awareness. Yeah. So I'm still with the Rouse family now, the fittest looking family that are about to run up the hill and girlfriends. So Ian, Ian, right. who's the quickest in the family? Um, one of the boys. One of the boys. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. we'll see that today. What's the age difference? It's twins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> second set of twins for the day. Three. I'm with Dane Verway, the winner of this year's Arthur C Challenge. Mate, how did it feel? Oh, it was very hard. It's one of the hardest runs you do, I think. I've done it twice now, and um, the last three Ks, um, so tough. Um, but glad to cross the finish line. Yeah. yeah. What sort of time did you do it in? Uh, 26.15. Uh, That's good going yeah. over a very steep hill. That was rough to say. Fantastic, mate. That was yeah. a great time. You did it quicker than we could get up here in a car. <laughs> uh, mate, really impressive. Yeah, well, thanks. Mate. Bex, the, the first female finisher and was quick as. What time did you do it in? Uh, just under 31. That's unreal. <laughs> You're a freak. Is this the first time you've done it? No, no, we do it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I think it's maybe, um, maybe the fourth or fifth time I've run it. Um, but the... La I won it last year and then the year before I walked in a moon boot because I had a stress fracture. So I don't I, I always do it. I love it. it. In a moon boot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. so what do you love about this event? Um oh I just I love running uphill and it's not far and it's just up, up, up and I just love it. You know it's gonna be over soon and um I just love running uphill are and you, there's not a lot of races that are just uphill. Yeah. Does it take you to recover from this or is this one? Uh, no, we'll um we'll run back down the trail and um, yeah, no, this this will be fine. <laughs> oh, we'll just run home. <laughs> so a few hours. Ah, uh, yeah, it would be. <laughs> so I'm with Robin Tiffany. Robin's been the MC for the day. Just tell me, tell me a little about the event. We're just talking about it. Oh, tell me about it. look, as we've been saying, it's this amazing community event that has a strong support of people who challenge themselves from a fitness perspective, but 
like the fact that it's connected to road trauma and trying to improve road conditions for young people. Yeah. I, it's almost like a great combination. Yes. So Sarah Jeff Hosking, you're finished. How'd we you go? It. We made it up. We made hill. it to the top. That's the main thing. Well <laughs> well a little bit of a jog, a little bit of a run. I waited for Jess for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is going to come out blazing. Next <laughs> week, you know? So yeah. who won? Me. She pit me at the finish line. At the finish line. Yep. Not going to happen again. No. I'll, I'll have her covered next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't run it. But to all the people who do compete in it this year, well done. It's a fantastic event. So get to it next year. Like and share on the page, Arthur's Seat Challenge. Rock on.